Did you know that the average customer consults 24 different resources during their path to purchase? That means consumers are no longer calling a business as soon as they decide they want to buy. They're doing the majority of their research first, and then by the time they do contact you, they have their mind set on what they're looking for. Additionally, of those 24 resources, 19 of them are digital. So other than visiting a location, talking to family and friends, test driving, or viewing a TV or newspaper ad, the other 19 methods of research and touch points are all happening online. From watching videos, seeing digital ads, visiting your website, checking out your social media pages, reading reviews, and more. In fact, more than 75% of your potential customers are conducting internet research before generating a single lead. Prior to the internet, the customer experience happened in three steps. Stimulus of a need for a product. This is how a person was triggered to reaching out and seeking your dealership. The first moment of truth. This is where the person first walked into your dealership and interacted with your sales team and the product. And the second moment of truth. This is where a person took the unit to their business and got to experience it and came to a conclusion on their own of how they liked the product. Why is this relevant? Because now we live in a digital age where consumers are interacting with your business before you're even aware of it. This is called the zero moment of truth. Google coined the term zero moment of truth in 2011 and described it as the research which is conducted online about a product or service before taking any action. If you do not have a strong online presence, these consumers are likely to look elsewhere from dealerships and businesses where they can gather more information because consumers no longer go into a purchase blindly. This graphic visually represents a consumer's zero moment of truth. They start their online research by looking at all the different dealerships out there. Imagine these storefronts are all the different Google search results. As your consumer looks through each website or storefront, they start to eliminate dealerships based on whether or not they have pictures, robust descriptions, or timely incentives. Now, how do you set yourself apart from your competition? By honing your online listings. Before we can talk about other digital marketing strategies, it's important that a dealer's online dealership is as impressive as their brick and mortar. Without this, you aren't even on the block for buyers to consider. If a buyer comes to your site and you have no inventory listed, no pictures, no prices, etc., they will move on. In fact, 91% of buyers said that listings are an important part of their online research. Listings are crucial because they reduce days on lot, create competitive advantages, and increase your reach. All inventory should be listed because each piece is unique. Within your online listings, what are consumers even looking for? Because it can seem overwhelming, we came up with a mnemonic device, PAID, to help you easily remember how you can hone your online listings and, well, get paid. P stands for price, A is for appearance, I is for images, and D stands for description. We will go a little deeper into each of these on the next few slides. Let's chat more about price. Why is it so important? There are a lot of factors with regards to pricing, and it's important that you're transparent with your buyers. No one wants a surprise when they pick up the unit and find out it's going to cost extra for things they didn't factor in. Include all additional pricing that comes with buying a unit. Listings that include price perform much better than listings without. Conversion rates are higher and listings with price receive more engagement than listings that don't include price. This simple addition is easy and makes a huge difference. Now we move on to the A in paid, which stands for appearance. You can have every other letter in paid perfect, but if you don't take the time to create keywords on your listing, they will get lost in a Google search or not show up in general. This includes things like having your location addresses listed and calling out specific keywords in your descriptions, which helps you appear higher in search results. The I in paid is for images. Visuals increase retention by 42%. You also want to give consumers a realistic picture of your unit with well-taken photos that show off what makes it so impressive. Show everything. Be honest. If there's damage they should be expecting, tell them up front. Every scratch, every dent or issue. You want the buyer to have no surprises when they show up on site to pick up their unit. Lastly, the D in paid is for descriptions. You need to draw in your buyer while giving them all the information they need. Don't be afraid to highlight all of the features of your unit so you can capture different audiences. If yours is the only unit for miles, call attention to that to capture buyers before they look anywhere else. To help speed up writing descriptions, create templates of what you want included in each listing like hours, make, year, and uses. A description is one of the most important portions of your listings and shouldn't be overlooked. One last time, paid stands for price, appearance, images, and descriptions. With just a few simple steps and adhering to some best practices, your listing should stand above your competitors 
and meet the needs of your potential buyers. Some key takeaways from this video. The average customer consults 24 different resources during their path to purchase, 19 of them being digital. 75% of your potential customers are conducting internet research before generating a single lead. Remember the importance of the zero moment of truth. Hone your listings and guide your consumers through the internet search process. 91% of buyers said that listings are the most important part of their online research. For more information around optimizing your online presence, contact us today.